All right, so I just want to make a real quick video. This is not going to be a full cooking video, but I get a lot of questions from guys that I hunt with. Um, this is venison backstrap. Our processor, the one I'm using right now, does cube it for you. Uh, you can get it kept whole, but even if you ask them to do that, a lot of times they don't. They're just so used to asking for people to get the medallions. <clears throat> what I asked for is three quarters of an inch. So... Um, standard is actually a half an inch. I like them to be a little bit thicker. Like this one, for example, to me is a little too thin. So real quick, like I said, quick video. I take salt and I salt it. Um, I usually use a little bit of pe pepper and then I wrap it in. Uh, this is center cut bacon and I wrap it and then I stick it in a skewer like this. Um, you want to make sure that the wrap is actually pierced. I don't get too bent out of shape about, you know, what's hanging out if it's not completely wrapped. I have another guy that I cook a lot with. He'll wrap it again this way. So it's completely wrapped in bacon. I personally don't like that. But just uh, I'm giving you some variants on this video on how to prepare your, your tenderloin. Um, the other thing that I do a lot of times is I will use a little bit of garlic salt like this and or Lowry seasoning salt. I personally like it a lot this way. Unfortunately, though, my family doesn't, so then it doesn't get uh, eaten uh, the way that I would prefer. I have had this sitting, I use these, um, I, uh, I don't know what you call these things, these plastic containers that have these drip pans on the bottom. I have had it uh, in my uh, refrigerator thawed for about three days. Sometimes I go as far as five days. That's another reason I'm making this video. I like it when, again, I, I don't think it's going to spoil my, I keep my uh, refrigerator at 36 degrees Fahrenheit and it gets out a lot of the juice, um, or a lot of the blood rather in a good way. But <clears throat> again, at the same time, it's elevated. So it's not sitting in it. I don't recommend you do that. If you stick it in a plastic container like this, don't let it just sit in the blood as it thaws out. I don't like that at all. So again, um, two different variations on, 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 uh, Seasoning, and again, this is not a complicated process. Um, don't overthink it. Literally just roll it in here like this and then stick it through the skewer. I, um, I may or not put it in this video. I essentially, with the cuts this size, I like to heat my grill outside. I cook mine outside, not inside in the pan. I don't like that either. Another little tip for you. I cook these at about 375 degrees roughly I don't like going over 400 because then the bacon gets out of control and it starts dripping and it screws it up. I cook them for about six to seven to eight minutes, depending on the temperature outside. So just keep that in mind. Don't overcook these things. It's easier to just put them back on the grill for another 30 to 60 seconds than to turn them into hockey pucks. So again, the reason why you wrap them in the bacon is because that bacon fat helps render it down and cook. Um, again, I don't over uh, season them. And I hope these were a couple different variations uh, for you to try. One thing um, that you can do with a marinade that I actually like a lot is soy sauce. Um, the extra salt really helps. I personally haven't had a huge following, um, meaning that people that I cook for like, like it that way. But some that do like it that way like it a lot. So, again, I know this is a very short video. But here's a, a really easy way to prepare your tenderloin if you have it. Don't overcook it. Hope that helps.